Welcome back to the fourth part in this series. In this one, we're going to sort of do the final part that we need to do to this project before we can actually start writing the front end Angular part of this series, which is going to be the core functionality of the sort of to do interface, uh, followed then by the API, which will allow us to sort of save the state of that front end so that we can propagate it when we refresh the page in the browser, for example. And that part is going to be uh, setting up the static files so that they can be uh, seen by Django. And by static files, I mean uh, CSS potentially in the future, but what we're mostly focused on is getting the JavaScript to work. Uh, but that's sort of collectively called static files. What I can do then is go to the project and I need a couple of settings. So I'm just gonna double check that I have static URL, which is, uh, important, That's, uh, that defines the static uh, URL from which Django is going to serve the static files. I may be able to show you that a bit more clearly once it's working. And I'm actually also going to define another setting called uh, static files uh, underscore ders. And that is going to be the uh, folder in which I'm going to store the static files. Uh, in this case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to call it static. Uh, so that's going to refer to a new folder, which is going to be created. So I'm going to create a new folder called static. And inside that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call that JS for JavaScript. And then inside that, let's create the JavaScript file itself. Uh, and I'm going to say new file. I'm going to say to do.js. Now, this is a very, very basic uh, JavaScript front end. So it's not going to be using any sort of fancy web technologies that you may be used to using if you're used to doing front-end development. I'm literally just going to write a vanilla a sort of JavaScript application. We may get more complicated with that with other series, but I'm going to try to keep this very simple and uh, literally just write it all in the same project. I'm not going to sort of package it, all the JavaScript as a module or minify it or even anything like that. I'm literally just going to write it vanilla vanilla and that's going to be served by Django. Now what I need to do, uh, so we've got the settings there, uh, so I'm going to check to see if, uh, well if Django can see the JavaScript file, but before that I need to make sure that it's referenced somewhere in the index.html that I have, and to do that I'm just going to, well firstly I'm going to write a bit of a basic HTML structure, I'm just going to say to do, and, or to do list I suppose and I'm going to get rid of this uh, demonstration because that was just for example purposes so that we knew it worked and right at the end of the body I'm going to put a script and that script is going to be a source and what I'm going to point it to is the JavaScript file here so how am I going to do that? well what I need to say is uh, so it's going to be a static file served by Django and uh, the way that I point to that is from the static files directory, which remember I specified in the settings as this static folder, I need to say js to do.js because that's the file that I want. So I'm just going to do js forward slash to do.js. So that should allow our index.html to pick up this script. I don't need to put anything inside there, so I'm just going to close that off. Uh, I'm I may, I may just put another heading here just so that we do have actually some sort of uh, title for our application which is quite nice just so that it's gonna well we have this title in the browser but there's a nice heading on the page now as well uh, and what I want to do is I need to check this in the browser so when I open localhost in the browser it says uh, did I forget to load this tag so apparently I did what I need to do to be able to make sure that we are able to use static here is in the head I do need to specify uh, already just above where I've used static already, I need to specify uh, load static. The reason I say do it in the head is because if we want to load CSS here, for example, uh, it can be uh, handy to also use the same sort of static reference because uh, eventually we may have a CSS folder in the static folder as well, uh, in, in which case we'd be wanting to put that in the head of the document probably. So now let's try that, see if that's uh, fixed that error. And now you can see we've got to-do lists still like we had before, uh, but we, we should also have the JavaScript file. So I'm going to open up my Chrome developer tools, I'm going to refresh the page, and as you can see, although the file's blank, it is actually loading and being detected. That's all I need to do to get the static files up and running in Django. In the next one, what I want to do is I actually want to start writing some of the JavaScript and 
a sort of building on the HTML template that, that is going to allow us to build out this to-do list application and give it some of its core functionality.